So right now, there's a high school student sitting in class wondering, what, what am I going to do after graduation? I haven't had time to meet with my counselor because she's been so busy helping all the other students and she's just being pulled in multiple directions. Well, so he decides to go into the workforce. Six years later, he's sitting there now unemployed because his job went away due to him not having the education needed and the job disappearing because it's not needed because it's automated. So, what are we here to do? We're here to fix that. We know that there's an education and a job crisis. We know that there is an issue with information being given to students. Anthony Carball, a, the Georgetown Director of Education and Workforce Development, has confirmed that there is a problem with information given to students. This problem is going to cause job loss, which means students and now employees are living off the dwindling government benefits that are eventually going to go away if we keep doing this. But more importantly, there are societal impacts like income gaps. There's the skilled versus the unskilled, the employed versus the unemployed. And as history shows, this has caused many problems and it is actually a huge issue for America. So my name is Nicole, this is Jacob, Garrett, Whitney, and Kyle, and we are here to tell you about Comprehensive Career Development Workshops. And now on to Whitney to tell you about our problem. Okay, so our problem pain is that high school students in the Evansville metropolitan area are uninformed about potential career paths post high school and their financial benefits. Currently, right now, there's only 24% of jobs that are open to applicants with no post-secondary education. And research shows us that that this trend is only going to continue to decline over the years. So our primary target is the Vandenberg and Warwick County School District high school students. And then our primary validation is Carrie Stein, a counselor at Wrights High School. And she has confirmed that there is not enough information that she has to provide these students with the research that they need for their futures. And that brings us to our solution. Our solution is comprehensive career development workshops. We want to build an online platform to provide surveys to students every year of high school assessing their, their interests, their skills, their concerns about their future career options and education opportunities. And then to provide customized feedback both to them and to their counselors so that the counselors can have a, a quick reference when interacting with the students as to what they need to deal with. In order to help facilitate this, we will pull aggregate data from sources like the BLS, uh, job listings, private companies, universities, in order to make sure that we can provide detailed outcome maps for the students and the counselors to discuss so that they can know what scholarships are available to them, how many jobs are going to be growing in a certain industry in their region in the next year or two just so that they can have as much information as possible in one condensed source that is being customized in terms of the feedback that they are receiving from their survey in order to arm them to better know what they're doing. Okay, so our value add is that we are taking a huge amount of data and we are uh, customizing it for each student that takes, our, uh, that takes their assessment. And we are putting this data in we're all putting it all in one location so that high school counselors can have instant access to that data. And with the counselors having access to this data, we are hoping that uh, the students, sorry, let me restart. Since the counselors have access to this data, we are hoping that, sorry, go ahead. So I'm gonna walk you through our business model, model canvas. Um, our key partners in this endeavor will be tech companies to build a tech platform, local trade businesses, local professional businesses, local schools. Key activities will be IT platform management, building the platform, maintaining it, and source data, like Kyle talked about, pulling that source data, and then marketing, public relations. Key resources will be the IT platform and background data. Coming over here to customer relationships, ratings, uh, getting feedback from customers, customer support, um, frequently asked questions, contact information, channels, uh, how we'll distribute information, we'll use a website, counselors, business partner meetings, things like that, and uh, customer segments, students, counselors, administration. Um, we're wanting to tap in and really aid the counselors and administrators 
in what they're doing to give them the information that we're pulling and to help them out. And then value proposition, um, uh, customized. We want to provide customized data to these students uh, based on their interests and um, the information that best suits them. It's face-to-face. -face. It's not uh, like online with a survey that you take and you get feedback, but it's a survey and you, you go in and you get to talk to a person who has the best experience in these fields. It's timely uh, when students are gradu graduating, direct, and it's personalized. And that brings us to our cost structure and revenue structure. Our primary cost will be setting up the platform. Our, our secondary cost after that would be marketing and PR in an attempt to get school, individual schools and school districts to adopt the platform. There will also be the patent cost because we intend to license it, we're going to need to pay to have a patent for them. And then we, in terms of the revenue we could be bringing in, we, we we're open to limited non-intrusive advertisement on the platform, so we wouldn't necessarily gain much revenue there. Uh, our main source of revenue would be the licensing fee to the individual schools and school districts. Um, we would also hope to get donations from sponsors and, and grants, and that will be mentioned more in our cost and benefit coming up. Yeah. So, as I've already mentioned, the primary cost would be setting up website and patenting it. Of course, there will be some costs associated with maintaining it over time, but the beauty of it is, is that the patent cost and most of the setup costs will be one-time expenses. Uh, our marketing and PR, that would be an ongoing expense because we would hope to carry this as far as there is a market for it. Um, then we also have our revenues. We're looking at about $350 per school as the licensing fee. So if you take the 12 major schools in, this, in our target area, that would equal about $4,200 per year. Uh, we're also, because our project has a lot to do with Education, we're also eligible for a lot of grants. These are just a few that are listed here, like the City of Exeter Endowment Fund, Illinois Rubber Trust Grant, etc. And this could provide a lot of our initial startup funds that we need. And then we also hope to partner with local businesses like the National Bank, Heritage Fund, Credit Union, and local universities, not only to provide information to the site to make it better, but to also provide initial startup funds as well through donations. Uh, we don't anticipate necessarily being profitable in the first year, but we believe that because most of the expense is a one-time expense, that at least by our second year, we could be profitable. So to finish off, our big value add here is that we are equipping counselors with something they've never had before. They don't have the time to go out and get this information. They don't have the resources to go out and get this information because as we know, teachers are dwindling, counselors are dwindling, it's all happening. People are being paid enough. So. What we're doing is we are doing that for them. We're giving the information so they can get with every single student and provide them with the information they need to have the future that they deserve. And from there, Anthony Carwell also said there that post-secondary education is like an op is a computer with no operating system. Well, our goal is to become that operating system. Thank you.